Hey guys, welcome to the DMX Show. I'm your host Shane, and today I wanted to uh, talk to you guys about a ROM uh, that's just been released as of three days ago called OMGB. Oh my gingerbread. Um, I've already done a ROM install and review on OMFGB. Uh, this is the other version. OMFGB comes with a lot of customization features uh, like uh, what are found in CM7, like the 1% increments, um, and several other tweaks and customizations. OMGB, however, is purely AOSP. I uh, think Nexus S, if you were to go uh, to Sprint or T-Mobile and purchase the Nexus S Google Experience phone, it would have no extras at all. It would be strictly AOSP, and this is what you get with OMGB. Uh, so let's jump right into it. I'll show you guys how to install it. Uh, a few things that you're going to want to know uh, about installing this ROM if you're coming from a .596 ROM, such as Shuji, uh, or Apex, or Liberty, uh, you'll have to SBF back to Froyo, Z4 root, install D2 Bootstrapper, and then install this ROM along with the G apps, uh, the Google apps zip. Uh, if you're coming from any CM7 ROM, you should be able just to wipe data, factory reset, and uh, flash this ROM directly over, you know, CM7, Liquid, SSX, MIUI. You shouldn't have any problems going from one CM7 uh, second edit ROM to this ROM. Let's see. I'll show you um, how to install it real quickly. Though you do, you would just go into uh, from a second edit ROM. You would just go into reboot and recovery. And if you know how to install a ROM, I just skip this all together. Uh, if you're coming from Froyo or the .596 ROM, you've SPF'd your phone and Z4 rooted your phone and installed D2 Bootstrapper. And now you are booting into recovery. So you can get this ROM from the link in the description. Go ahead and download that. It's kind of big if you can get on a Wi-Fi connection. Uh, go ahead and download it directly to your phone and you'll find it in the download folder uh, in the SD card. Alright. As soon as recovery comes up, I'll show you guys how to install it very quickly. So you'll want to go here to uh, first thing you want to do is go to wipe data factor reset select that go down to yes delete all user data select that and then go to wipe cache or cache select that and then go to yes wipe cache I already have it installed so I'm not going to select that I'm going to go back and then you'll go to advanced wipe Dalvik and one other thing that you're going to want to do if you're coming from any CM7 ROM um, is going to mounts and storage and go down here to format system and select that and then you'll go to install zip from SD card and choose zip from SD card I'm navigating here with the volume up and down camera button to select and the back button to go back and you'll go all the way to your download folder if you've got a lot of programs on your phone apps you have a lot of folders. So find the download folder if you downloaded it directly to your phone. And the file you're looking for is OMGB Shadow 1.2.2.zip. Um, if you go to the link in the description, that's going to take you to my website where I'll have the download link. Once you click on that download link, it's going to give you a whole list of different devices. You will choose the Shadow device. That's the Droid X. Um, and you'll download the 1.2.2 version of the ROM. Go ahead and select that and flash it and then uh, once you've flashed it you'll go back in there to uh, it'll, this screen will come up once it's flashed you'll go to um, you go back into install zip from SD card choose zip from SD card and then you go to the download folder uh, where hopefully you have downloaded the gapps.zip and I'll also go ahead and post that on the website there. And then you'll go down here to G Apps, and that installs like your Gmail and your Maps and your Navigator, uh, Voice Search, and those different apps 
just makes it easier than having to go through the market and find them and, and install them. It just uh, pre-installs those for you. Okay, so then after all that's finished, you'll go to Reboot System Now. just want to show you how quickly uh, OMGB loads. That's one of the features of OMGB is how fast it loads. Okay, and here's your regular AOSP, Google Experience, Android boot, boot animation here. And of course, should have booted a little faster than that. Maybe it was because I was coming from clockwork. It generally takes about five seconds to boot up once it gets to that animation. Uh, so it is a fast boot. Uh, so we'll go ahead and give this ROM a review. Obviously, I have ADW Launcher here, which works well. Um, the thing about OMGB here is you don't have a lot of customization options like you would with the normal CM7 ROM, but you do have better battery life because you don't have all the extras and add-ons uh, which tend to bog down the system. So you're going to have the performance of a second edit ROM with a battery life of like a .596 ROM. Um, the battery life is not going to be exactly like an Apex ROM, uh, but it's, it's basically it's in between a second in it and a .596 ROM. Um, You'll see the speed is there. I'll go in and show you some of the extra features on this phone. So if you go into, I mean on this ROM, if you go into God Mode, you have a few options here. Not as many as on OMFGB. You have the Haxer add-ons, OMFGB Nightlies, and AMGB, I mean OMGB Builds. So you can actually update your ROM directly in God Mode. And you have your add-ons here. Google Apps is there, wallpapers, and the custom theme for OMFGB and OMGB are there as well. And then the other uh, custom customization feature that you have with this ROM is Theme Chooser, which is stock with the CM7 ROMs. You can apply themes on the fly, which is pretty cool. And like I said, there's not a lot to see here, but if you need some better battery life and you love the performance of a second edit ROM, OMGB is the ROM for you. Uh, I would suggest that you at least give it a try. I've been using it all day and I've been very well pleased with this ROM. Uh, so guys, head on over to droidmoderx.com and keep updated with all the news, hacks, ROMs, and mods for your Droid X. Uh, also, we'll be covering the Bionic as soon as it drops and we'd love to cover the Galaxy S2 phone and there's a phone by HTC called The Vigor that's coming out soon. Of course, we need your support, so check out the website. Uh, check out some ads if you would. And help the site to grow. We appreciate you as a subscriber. So go ahead and click on the subscribe if you want to keep up to date. And uh, thanks for watching, guys. Intoxicated world.